talk to you for a few minutes about the process that Fleetwood uses to bring a new product into the marketplace. Anytime that we are looking at designing a new door or a window or making some changes to existing products, we try to think like modern architects think. Form follows function. And what that means is that our product must enhance the building design, what the architect already has in vision, but it also has to be something that is intuitive and easy to work with by the homeowner. A great deal of our success comes from our commitment to holding true to a process of integrity. Because when you hold to that process, you discover things you didn't even know you needed to discover, and you find answers to questions you didn't even know were asked. Our dealers may have an idea for a new product. They will run it through the inside sales staff, starting with me, and then I will gather some information about it as to what they really want, what they're looking for, what they're hoping to accomplish, and then run it through upper management. So we're gonna ask our engineers, our designers who are participating in the design and conceptual stage, what's the purpose of this product? What's its function? The aesthetics, the form, how are those components of that form going to fit together? We'll come up with a great idea. It's like, okay, well, how do we put it together? How are we actually gonna cut this on the machines? How are we actually gonna fit the hardware in here? Is it even possible? Sometimes you'll have a great idea where it hides everything, but can you actually get the hardware in there or is it too hidden? The thing I always try to keep in mind when I'm designing something or looking at another engineer's design is how easy is it for the installer? Is this gonna be a product that dissuades a dealer from purchasing our product by making it more difficult to install? When it comes to design here at Fleetwood, it's a pool of knowledge. You have the guy that's been putting these windows and doors together for 40 years. You have the guy that's been designing for 30 years. You have the mechanical engineer that has gone through multiple companies. It doesn't take long to learn from what we have. For example, we, we change something here, we don't see different, and then we will look for something different direction right away. We sit in a room, we lock the door, we sit there for three hours until we get a design that we like, and then we go back out, engineers come together, we draw it up, and we go right back into the meeting. We've taken what we've learned over the past 60 years of our experience and we've applied it with current technologies in order to produce the products we make. The other companies have used a similar process, but what's unique to Fleetwood is our relentless pursuit to meet or exceed elite luxury standards. Fleetwood's design philosophy is thin lines and big pieces of glass. Architects are always pushing the envelope when they're drawing. Bigger, bigger, bigger. That's all we ever hear from these architects. In our minds, when we're designing it and we're working with our engineers, we have to make sure that when, when we go to build it and design the product that they want, that it's going to function properly, it's going to fit within the Fleetwood mindset. It's going to work and it's going to look great in the field and in these houses that they're designing. Quintessential modern is reducing sight line, but if minimal becomes so minimal that it no longer has the strength to operate daily, then what good is it? One of our main purposes is to just link arms with architects and designers and allow them to use our products inside their design and not have to make compromises. Even before we make a decision to bring on a new product, we have a series of questions that acts as an overall litmus test to determine whether or not we go forward with the design. For example, will this product stand the test of time? We have a transferable lifetime warranty. We're the only company in our industry that does that. That's key. Second one, will this product do well in the harshest environments in the world? Think of high humidity, heat, and salt. Palm Springs Desert, Florida Keys, Aspen, Colorado. From glass to finish, everything has to last. Thank you.